Hi, thanks for joining me today for another edition of the Bell video blog. I am Eric Bjornstead with Bell Performance. Uh, we're going to talk about diesel particulate filters. We're going to talk about certain things that can adversely affect the health of those DPF systems. That's what a diesel particulate filter is, uh, acronym DPF. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with them, they are what they call a, a post ex, uh, post combustion systems. They're fitted onto the exhaust, and basically, uh, the exhaust after the fuel's been burned passes through the DPF, and the DPF traps all of that soot and carbon that normally would go out of the stacks and into the atmosphere. Uh, so it's really an environmental saver, so to speak. But as you would expect. Um, because of the nature of what it is, it gets filled up. It gets filled up over time, and then the 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 truck has to take it in to be serviced, and they will do uh, what they call a regeneration pro process, where they typically will uh, basically heat it up in a controlled situation and burn off all that that carbon, um, and then give it back to them, put it back on the truck, and then they're good for another X thousands of miles. Uh, so. DPFs are great for the environment, but they do require uh, service intervals. So, uh, what are some considerations for extending or enhancing the life of the DPF? Um, first thing you have to remember is that um, uh, anything that reduces soot or the amount of carbon going into the filter is going to extend the life of that filter. Uh, that is one of the things we talk about here about performance, you know. Um, with respect to DPF systems, uh, using a good diesel fuel additive that reduces the amount of unburned carbon, the amount of particulate matters, which is uh, designated PM, um, using something like that really will extend the life of a DPF system. Um, mechanically, there are things that can go wrong that can actually increase the amount of soot that goes into a DPF system. If you have a bad air filter, if you have fuel injectors that aren't working properly or a fuel filter that's not working properly, that's going to cause adverse conditions. That's going to basically cause your DPF system to fill up too quickly. Um, and this issue of filling up too quickly is important because uh, for truckers and for diesel users, time is money. Um, you know, we had a, uh, a, a customer that had a, a diesel, a DPF system that was filling up, like, he, he tried to make 2,000 mile runs and he had to stop, like, on every trip to have his system generated. Well, we were able to fix this problem with uh, the use of some diesel and suddenly he can go three, four trips and, you know, that, that extra time is worth real tangible value to him. So, uh, making sure your, your, your system is in good working order and is not doing anything to cause excess soot to go into that DPF system, that's going to cause it to have a longer life. Um, lube oil. Lube oil does actually have a relationship to DPF health. Um, if your engine consumes oil at a higher rate than it normally does, that can actually contaminate and fill up your DPF system and uh, you know shorten its life. Um, not something that you want to have. It can actually plug or damage the catalyst because there's a catalyst in there that helps cause the reactions within that DPF system. So um, you want to use a low ash oil, like a CJ4 oil. That is, uh, well, ultimately you want to use what your vehicle rec manufacturer recommends. But all of the things being equal, a low ash oil like a CJ4 is going to maximize the life and health of your DPF system. Um, something called the duty cycle. Now, the duty cycle is... Uh, a cycle that is specific to the filter and the engine. And when they install the DPF systems, a lot of people don't notice, when they install the DPF filter into the exhaust system, they then essentially fine-tune it to how the engine on that vehicle runs. Then they call that the duty cycle. Now, if you drive or operate the vehicle in such a way that that duty cycle is changed or is deviated from, well, that can really adversely affect the health and life of your DPF system. So if you can avoid that, don't do that. Um, so anyway, those, those are some of the things that can go into the health of a DPF system. 
using a fuel additive or something that keeps the amount of carbon going into it at a minimum, that's really going to help you. Making sure that your, 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 your vehicle does not burn excess amounts of oil. And if you can help it using a low ash oil like a CJ4, that's going to help. Not varying from your duty cycle of your DPF, which is specific to your vehicle, that's going to help as well. Anyway, if you like this information, we have plenty more where that came from. We have a couple of websites. Uh, bellperformance.com is our main one. But we also have an educational website that is geared both for consumers and for uh, professionals. That is at www.wefixfuel.com. And we invite you to check them out. Thanks for joining me today. I am Eric Bjornside with Bell Performance. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.